Kukuya Mora Mensa. Okay, so we're back in the backyard here with the Kukuyu and Bermuda mix. We should give it a name like Kukmuda or Bokuyu or something like that. Anyway, so as you would recall, last video I put down some herbicide back here. It's now been a little over three days, about 80 odd hours uh, since that application went down and I've got significant results already. Uh, plus the grass hasn't seemed to discolor too much. Uh, if anything the Kukuyu has discolored a little bit, but otherwise really not bad at all. So today we're going to give this a mow and we're going to put down some nitrogen fertilizer just to give the grass a bit of a boost now, let the herbicide still work on all the weeds, uh, but get the grass back up in action again. Uh, so because this has been growing now for about, I think on 10 days or in and around 10 days, I'm not going to take it down too low, but I'm going to give it a cut that as much of everything is cut because now I've got two different lengths of grass with the Bermuda verse, the Kukuyu here. So um, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, and just to show you what's going on, you can clearly see like all of this. It's, it's because all of these weeds have started croaking and I've got various types and all of them are yellowing or have the burnt to a crisp just about like that so all of them are taking effect and I still have about another 10 days worth of effect from the product that will happen as well okay let's trim some edges and mow the lawn <laughs> safely say I hate weed eating and weeding but here's also another very good example why you need proper edges and why I've started with these bricks and that kind of thing is that this is all kukuyu and one or two other like flowers and stuff the mess that grows into the beds when there's no edges and yeah well even when there are edges it's just it's a lot harder for the kukuyu to get over the edge and also you see it a lot more easily when there's an actual border. So if you can, border your lawn. Anyway, time for a mow. This is why you don't mow when it's too damp. But I have to get the mow in today, it's going to rain just now and I want to get some nitrogen down. First pass done, a little bit tough on the mower with the wet grass and it was hellish long and hellish thick but yeah let's have a look. I think when I get all the clippings up <clears throat> Hello Charlie. Yeah, it's going to look pretty good. So all that discoloration is just the weeds uh, and the Bermuda's got no uh, sort of lightening that's happening wherever the herbicides were applied. Just the Kukui's got a little bit like a yellowish tinge going on. Uh, I only sculpt in one or two places. I think now with my second pass I might actually sculpt a few more places. But yeah, let's keep going. Just look at all this mess up here. That is, it's a lot. This is where the Bermuda is prominent. You can see it's still perfectly dark green. And the same patches, there's the Kukuyu. So it took a little bit of a hit. Uh, which is not a bad thing in my case. It's just that from the other side you actually get to see the color a bit better. This is the type of stuff that lies around in my yard. So that's that stream of weeds. So they must have just followed like a path of water. As they went down, it just kept seeding, seeding, seeding all the way down to the bottom. 
Bad look at this, like a muddy mess. I hope I can get this cleaned up properly. <laughs> Just wanted to get the bin on. And uh, that's what I've discovered. <laughs> look at that. That's nice. Noise, noise. Okay, that was a lot more effort than I thought it was going to be. I've gone over two passes. I'm going to go over it again in the third. And what I'm going to do is just go in the opposite direction. There's still quite a lot of mud up here. Uh, so I'm going to go for some coffee. Let the mower cool down a bit. It's actually taking some strain now. And what I'm going to do is just leave it alone for a little while. It will dry out a bit. And when I come back, at least the clippings will be lighter and easier to get up. Yeah, not looking too bad so far. Just the discoloration, which is some frizzy weeds. Happy so far. Okay, so I've eaten, had a cup of coffee. Feeling very lazy, but I uh, just want to get this finished. And you might be asking, why didn't I just leave the clippings if I'm about to put down nitrogen? Well, it's quite simple. Yes, the clippings can deposit some nitrogen as they break back down back into your soil. But number one, I want my lawn tidied up, uh, firstly. Secondly, is that I want the um i don't want the clippings on the ground because you're going to be spraying now with liquid nitrogen and uh well liquid nitrogen fertilizer and uh you're going to end up with half of it being wasted on dead grass on the surface anyway so you need to get up as much leaf matter and soil and all the rest of it as possible so that your you know your actual leaf is nice and clean then put the stuff down otherwise you're wasting it anyway let's do it Okay, look, I know I'm not the tallest guy around. I know I live in Pretoria, so you'd assume that I'm tall. I'm quite short. But why the heck is it that weed eaters and lawn mowers, you have to sort of like bend over the whole time just to use the things. So why have they not designed this for me, an average short dude, get it a bit of length? I mean, uh, the tall blokes, if you're two meters tall, I, I don't know how you deal with mowing lawn. Anyway, let's have a look. Okay, so I'm done with the mow. Still a lot of dirt here. Let's look at it from the bottom. Okay, so this is what it's looking like before the nitrogen application. LM is doing well. Kukui is doing actually okay over here in the shade. You can tell where there's still like um, dips where the weeds are curling up and the rest of the yellow patches is obviously more weeds and wherever the kukui was yellowing, yellowing off but none of the Bermuda is yellowing off. Okay, time to put down some liquid. Okay, so just for the sake of putting my money where my mouth is, I'm using the same container that I used the herbicides in the other day. I gave it a wash with that so if you remember I did a sort of pre-treatment using this. I then used this as well for the actual uh, mix when putting down the herbicides and then I used a little bit more of it to rinse this container, the sprayer. Uh, so now I'm going to use again a little bit of this as the surfactant to go along with NC32 which is liquid nitrogen fertilizer and I think I'm also going to put in a little bit of iron as well um, but not too much. I don't want to give the weeds any extra help but I don't think that they will get any anyway with the, with the herbicides down on them so I'm going to put a little bit of that down and this Okay, for those of you who don't want to read the dosages, I'm going to put in just 35 mils of that. And uh, that's now for a 15 litre mix. It's just something to get a little bit of binding going on or a little bit of a surfactant, an additive a helper for the other stuff that you're going to put in with your mixes. Um, and the NC32, you normally put down 300 mils of NC32 per 5 litres. So I am going to do 900 mils of that in this one container and that's what's going to go down on my lawn 
and this we normally put down 50 grams per um, 5 liters I'm going to then put down 150 although that is at that rate is only meant for about 100 square meters the same for this so I'm not really putting down full full rate because I've got about 500 square meters to cover but it will be fine for this uh, for this task because this is very high in nitrogen versus uh, you know, like a, the average high nitrogen granular fertilizer. Cool. Let's spray. Okay, so I've taken a shower and I've got sprinklers on. Just trying to walk between them so I can show you from the bottom of the yard as well. But uh, in an instant, everything is greened up. Uh, it's looking very, very good. And um, oh, here comes one. So I'm very, very happy with the results. I think that uh, proof is in the pudding that a high quality herbicide done the right way kills the weeds and not your grass. That's definite because uh, just, I mean, I mean, I haven't been here. Sprinklers have been on for about 20 minutes. Uh, I'm going to turn them off now in about another 10 minutes or so. And I can clearly see that even the kukuyu that was yellowing has started to green up. Uh, the only stuff that is still looking horrible are the actual weeds themselves. Um, there are some that don't look like they're doing anything yet, but there is some slight discoloration along the edges of those weeds. So I'm going to let the peak take its course or run its course over the next, should be another 10 more days that it theoretically is in effect. And then I'll be able to give you more feedback. Okay, my little weed patch behind me. What I've done is I've just sort of chopped everything in half. Now I know that you're supposed to leave your herbis uh, your weeds leaves nice, you know, as big as possible, so the her herbicide can stick to them as much as possible. But when it stands very high and tall, you you end up only catching like half of each of them in the first place. If I could explain it like that, so I've chopped them basically in half. So they're all still sort of 15 to 20 centimeters long, um, and I'm going to put down some more herbicide Ooh. Uh, in a bit okay so I'm dodging sprinklers here and that's what it looks like from this side I would say noticeable improvement already and that's because it's it's uh, liquid now NC32 is actually a slow release product but I always seem to see an immediate effect anyway so I, I think that just by having it on the leaf you know, for the time that you're actually putting the stuff down and the time that it takes you to go get your sprinklers on and all the rest of it, I think it's enough for it to start doing something immediately. Because this is looking very good. It's borderline sculpt for the hut that I, um, I did the stuff, let the grass grow in for. Remember, if you let your grass grow too long, you shouldn't be cutting it out too short. So it's sitting at about 25 mils at the moment. So not long and not short, but I'm very happy with the results so far. Okay, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.